Hi, welcome back to my channel. How are you all? I am here to announce that exam preparation videos will be uploaded frequently. And uh, in this video, I have included few numerical from the chapter light for class 10 students. So without further ado, let's get started. An object 2 cm high is placed at a distance of 64 cm from a white screen. On placing a convex lens at a distance of 32 cm from the object, it is found that a distinct image of the object is formed on the screen. So what is the focal length of the convex lens and size of the image formed on the screen? Draw a ray diagram to show the formation of the image in this position of the object with respect to the lens. So they say that the height of the object is 2 cm. So AB is 2 cm. And also they say that the convex, the distance between the object and the lens is 32 cm. And the image will be formed. And in the first sentence, they say that the object is placed at distance 64 cm from a white screen. So we can say that the distance between the screen and the object is 64 centimeter so when you place a convex lens at 32 centimeter from the object a distinct image is formed on the screen so we understand that the distance between the lens and the image is also 32 because 64 minus 32 will give you 32 so the object is kept at 32 and the image is formed at 32 centimeter distance so from that we can understand uh, understand that object screen distance is double of the object's length distance so using the lens formula we can find out the focal length 1 by v minus 1 by u equal to 1 by f here v and u both are 32 centimeter so just substitute 1 by 32 minus 1 by minus 32 equal to 1 by f take the lcm simplify you will get 2 by 32 and when you some when you take the reciprocal you will get the focal length as 16 centimeter so focal length is 16 centimeter now how will you find out the size of the image formed on the screen so you know what is u v and also you know what is h dash that is height of the object so, what is the formula to find that magnification? Magnification is equal to h dash by h and that is also equal to v by u. So, that is what we are using here h dash by h equal to v by u. So, from that we can get an expression for h dash that is v by u into h. v and u both are 32 and remember u is minus 32 because the distance is measured from the lens. So, 32 divided by minus 32 into height of the object is 2 so 32 32 cancel and you will get minus 2 centimeter so what does this minus value indicate it shows that it shows that the image is real and we are getting an inverted image so we can write over here negative sign shows that the image is real and it is inverted the refractive index of glass is 1.5 and the speed of light in air is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second calculate the speed of light in glass so we know the formula to find out the refractive index n equal to speed of light in vacuum divided by speed of light in the medium so here the medium is glass so what is the value given over there refractive index of glass is 1.5 so 1.5 equal to speed of light in air or vacuum that is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second then divided by speed of the light in the medium that is glass so when you cross multiply you can get speed of light in glass is equal to 3 into 
10 raised to 8 divided by 1.5. So, you will get 2 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. The image of an object placed at 60 centimeter in front of the lens is obtained on a screen at a distance of 120 centimeter from it. So, we got the image distance and the object distance. So, object is kept at 60 centimeter from the lens and the image is formed at 120 centimeter. So, u is negative and v is positive. Now, using the lens formula, we, we, we have 1 by v minus 1 by u equal to 1 by f. Now, substitute the value 1 by v is 120 minus 1 by minus 60. Take the LCM, you will get 3 by 120 and that is uh, 1 by 40. And when you take the uh, reciprocal, you will get the focal length as 40 centimeter. Now, what would be the height of the image if the object height is 5 centimeter? So, here also we can make use of the formula for magnification m equal to v by u and that is also equal to height of the image by height of the object. Just cross multiply. So, height of the image is equal to height of the object into v by u. Substitute. So, v is 120, u is minus 60 and therefore the height will be minus 10 centimeter. So, what does this minus sign indicates? We can, we know that it will be formed below the principal axis. So, we can say that the image is real and inverted. Image is real and inverted. Hope you all like my video. If you find helpful, like my video, share among your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.